Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today I've got a bit of a story time for you. But how are you done with these guys? If you were to look very closely, you'd see we've got a few new fish in the fish room. If you've joined me in my live streams recently, we've been talking about how a lot of my tanks were taken up by fish that are now living in my discus display tank up in the main house. And a lot of the tanks were empty, so I went to my local fish shop. Every Saturday, my daughter goes to a gymnastics class, two hours. I spend that two hours bobbing around the local fish shops, having a mooch, having a look-see. And for the last few weeks, I've had my eye on what I call their sump tanks. Sump tanks at my local Maidenhead Aquatics are where they put the fish that are just not normal. It might be fish that the staff there are selling themselves, fish that are a bit boisterous, and fish that might be in handed in. So that's your more mature, your larger fish, sometimes stranger fish. But you know, it's the kind of thing I'm interested in. I've always been trying to figure out what to keep in Mega Tank. So checking out these tanks is always a good one. And I've had my eye on some Oscars and some uh, Severums that they had in those tanks. So I potter along, bob into my local Maidenhead Aquatics, and the first thing that happens is, Graham, you're back! Aha, right, we've got something for you. And it turns out that one of their other regular customers who has a large tropical pond in their house had had a bit of a disaster. The tank had exploded, whether it was because the insulation wasn't good enough or something, but over the years, as it contracted in the winter, exploded. And amongst many other things in that tank, he was keeping a huge emperor snakehead, a huge azul peacock bass, uh, and a large dat, very, very large dat. Um, he was also keeping in there, I believe, a whole bunch of Oscars, a uh, flower horn, and some other, some other fish. But the disaster killed the majority of them, and he was left with these three fish. So they gave me his number. I thought, this has happened before, where people have got big tanks, and then I end up going round and they say, oh yeah, would you like them? £10,000. So I bought the fish that I was there to get. I got the Oscar, I got the Rotkill Severums. Um, came home, gave the guy a ring and he was like, look, I genuinely just want them to go to a good home. Um, I've only put some money on it just to make sure that it's not somebody that's going to take them up and chop them up for dog food or something like that. Do you want to come and have a look? I kind of hummed and hawed and said, I'll have a think about it because if you remember, I had just had Humphrey in the, Humphrey is my large flower horn, had him in the mega tank on his own with my little golden som. Uh, and I kind of almost fallen into the pattern or fallen into the idea that I was going to keep them in there and maybe add some Oscars, maybe add some other smaller big fish, if that makes sense. But thought, I'm never going to get this opportunity again. The, the bass, the one that I saw at Fishman Aquatics was a Tamensis bass. That was, for me was like, oh, I've got to have one of them. So to get offered a bass and a giant snakehead at the same time, I just couldn't turn it down. So I spent all day trying to get uh, Humphrey and uh, the other fish out of Mega Tank so as I could free up for the new inhabitants. Went along, checked out uh, the three fish. So he had this huge dathnoid, he had the Azul, and he had the Emperor Snakehead. Um, he, I wasn't actually that bothered about the dat. I know loads of people be like, what? They are cool. They, yes, they're cool as all hell, but it, nah, I was not fussed either way. And he, he had, I think it was his brother, was showing an interest in that one. So I was happy to let him keep that one, give them up to his brother, and I would take the other two. So he showed me what had happened where this tank had exploded, it killed his house electric, so he'd had to rip everything back to brick and reboard everything, re-insulate everything. So he was just done with it. There was no, oh, can you board these for me for a while till I rebuild and I get them back again. He just wanted, <laughs> he just wanted them gone into a good home. So hopefully I can provide that. But he was keeping them in, um, and you see the size of these fish, he was keeping them in a five foot tank, so it was getting to be a bit of an emergency, but they were needing a rescue to get them into a more appropriately sized tank. And luckily, I'm the guy with the appropriately sized tank. The snake head was called Toothless by the, the guy who had him before me's kids, I think. And then they realized, you know, he's actually got loads of teeth. So they called him Ruthless. So this is Ruthless. Got a bit of a bump on his nose from when he's tried to jump in the smaller tank he was being kept in. Um, but yeah, starting to colour up nicely. It was very dark when I picked him up. And then similarly, the Azul. 
bit of a bump on the nose for again trying to jump I think as well as the fins a little bit tatty but still awesome fish So we boxed them up and with anything, when you're talking about fish this big, it doesn't, you don't put them in a little bag. I had to get big massive totes even then, they were squeezed in. Um, it did give me a chance to measure them, so the snake head that, that was in a two foot tote but it only fit diagonally and even then it was at a curve. So I reckon it's about 28 inches. Um, the, the Azul Bass, that's a good 12 to 14 inches. Um, so these are proper sized fish. They're a little bit beaten up at the moment because they've been kept in that small tank for a few weeks now and obviously just transporting them. So I'm hoping that I'm giving them a bit of fresh water, a bit of good feeding up. That'll give them a little bit of a chance to recover and recuperate. But already they're starting to colour up. They were very dark and, well, the, the snakehead was very dark and the bass was very pale, but they're starting to colour up a little bit better now. They've all, I've only had them in here, what, 24 hours, something like that. Um, they're swimming about quite happily, quite the thing, and yeah, totally awesome. So I'm going to give them a little bit of time in here to settle in, make sure that they're happy, make, get them up feeding and everything, make sure they're doing okay. I don't want just two fish in here, so yes it is a big tank, but these are really big fish as well, but I don't want just two fish in here. The chap that had them before me was keeping them with other fish, like I say, Oscars and a flower horn. I'm very scared to put Humphrey, my flower horn, in there just to have them go ahead and smash them to bits. So I'm going to have some kind of divider slash net and see if I can introduce them just to see whether or not it's going to be a problem. Uh, but I'd love to be able to keep Humphrey in there. I've moved Humphrey into another tank just now, just while we're letting them sort themselves out. But I'd love to get Humphrey in that tank. He's going to be the smallest fish in there rather than the biggest, so I have no idea what that's going to do to things. I would like to keep some Oscars in there, so I've got one Oscar, I might get some more over time. Um, and have well, yeah, have it a little bit busier in there. I might need to do something with the decoration, build up more hiding spaces for larger fish, so as if they do have a little bit of a conflict, it's natural that they will have a little bit of butting heads just to sort out hierarchies and things. So I need to give them some spaces that they can get out of sight lines, hide away for a bit, that if they do feel that they're getting bullied they can just get a little bit of respite and escape so we might have some more woods more rocks and create some more caves and things like that but yeah hopefully we should be good to go let me know in the comments if you've ever dealt with this this is my first big tank you might have big tanks here and go Graham no you idiot don't do that you do it like this don't keep those fish together you keep these fish together Happy to hear all your thoughts. Uh, let them let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. Let me know on a Friday night, 9 p.m. We do a live stream. Come and join me there and tell me all about these things. But nothing here is normal. I don't believe that there are rules at this stage. These two fish, the snakehead and the azul, should not be together. But they have lived together for years. So this guy's kept them together for years and there's been no problems. They have the odd little swim past with each other, but there's no aggression. And, that I've noticed over the, the day and a half that I've had them. Um, so I don't believe there are rules here that say you can, you can't do this. It's more about what approach to take and how to introduce new fish. Um, so any experiences, let me know down in the comments. As I say, come and join me on a Friday night. Otherwise, how cool is this?